a very difficult stretch. Over a hill, then back down again, and up and over the next hill. And the car remains stable the whole time. It's just incredible. The engine, it all just makes your heart leap for joy. RS stands for racing sport and it's even closer to motor racing than the GT3 is. It was a great challenge for us to build a better car than the GT3, which is an unbelievable vehicle to begin with. We developed the vehicle at motorsport and those who worked on it are the same people who develop our race cars. Ultimately, we're talking about a race car here. If you look at the performance specs, you'll see that the vehicle has more output than some of the race cars we send out onto the track. The car is wider and it's got more power and more torque. Its distinct aerodynamics are similar to what you usually find in a race car. The vehicle is also highly precise. It's truly designed for pure weekend fun on the racetrack as well. A right-hand bend, I take it pretty fast, and then move right into a left-hand curve. The vehicle goes where I want it to go, right down to the last millimeter. Such moments are simply amazing. It's not enough to use a wing to generate downforce in the back. You have to create a balance between the rear and the front. That's why we have openings on the wings that actively vent the wheel arches. 220. Now the fastest bend is coming up. Here as well you immediately notice the tremendous downforce and how stable the car remains. The trick is to get a lot of downforce in the front. Then you can counterbalance it in the back. Even race cars like our GT3 Cup have only a little more downforce than this car. We're talking about 350 kilograms of additional downforce on the vehicle at maximum speed and that's huge. I smile every time I take a curve because it's just so incredible to see how the car goes exactly where I steer it. All of this amounts to pure driving pleasure for me as well. I've never experienced anything like it before. We use two different sized tires here, which is actually unusual with a 911. We put 21 inch tires on the back and a 20 inch variant in the front. Compared to the normal GT3, you definitely notice that the wider tires make it faster in curves. The car's footprint is also about 20% larger than that of a GT3, which is itself a leader in this regard. We designed the vehicle mainly for those in mind who like to go out on the racetrack and have fun. They like to clock their lap times, so a PDK offers a clear advantage over manual transmission. In a full throttle upshift, the transmission shifts from one gear to the next in less than 100 milliseconds. You can do a clutch kick to intentionally upset the balance of the car. We can do launch control starts and produce as much wheel spin as we want. This transmission simply gives you more freedom. You can do just about anything with it that you can do with a manual transmission. Basically the car has everything it takes to win on the racetrack. It's got attributes that are beyond impressive and make driving the vehicle even more fun. Lightweight design is obviously a major issue for us in the field of motorsports. We use several different materials in the GT3 RS. The entire front of the car is made of carbon fiber. The rear spoiler is made of carbon and we also use lightweight polyurethane on the front and back. The big highlight is the roof of course where we used a magnesium panel. This involves a new technology, one that didn't exist before for such wide panels. It reduces the weight at the highest point of the car by more than one kilogram as compared to an aluminium roof. I believe this is the type of achievement that will benefit future Porsches, even if they aren't RS vehicles. Four litres displacement and 500 horsepower. If you get out of a race car and into the GT3 RS, it doesn't feel like the car is underpowered, quite the contrary. 
We used only the best materials. We've got titanium connecting rods, new high-performance pistons, and the camshafts are different. We've got a crankshaft made of a special type of steel, the same we use in the 919, the LMP1 race car. The engine can get up to nearly 9,000 RPM, perfect for this chassis. And together with these tires, suspension and gearbox, you end up with a wonderful package. I always grin whenever I get into this car. I simply feel great. I can only hope that I might be allowed to drive this car as often as possible.